All right, now available from First Light is the all new Trace system. So this is designed for warm weather whitetail hunting, but I've found a lot of other applications for it as well. So let's dive into the features, the benefits, and all the other goodies that you need to know about this brand new top and bottom from First Light. Roll the intro. Pop, 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 pop. All right, so let's start with why the trace system and what it's for. I think First Light has been getting a lot of feedback from people, especially in the Southeast, but all over the country saying, hey, you know, we're hunting in super warm conditions, super hot weather, and we need something that's better suited for 70 degrees and up. And First Light answered, and this is the solution. Uh, the top and bottom in the trace series is un beatable when it comes to those really warm weather hunts. The trace system, the first thing you're going to notice is it's breathable, it's fast drying, and it's quiet. Uh, and also durable as hell. I mean, this is the prototype piece that I have worn for over a year. And I mean, I've been through a lot of briars with this. I've been through a lot of gnarly stuff and I've worn it on a lot of hunts. You know, when I'm running this gear, especially this prototype gear, I'm trying to test it. I'm trying to see how durable it is. I'm not babying this stuff. Obviously, I'm also not intentionally trying to destroy it, but I mean, I've worn this on hunts the way I wear gear and I've walked through some briars. Uh, this thing is incredibly durable and a lot of that comes from the fabric that they're using on this that we'll get into a little later. But overall, this system is incredibly breathable and I'm just absolutely amazed at how fast it dries. So one of the first features that you're gonna notice on, on this shirt is the short collar. So the collar is kind of the perfect height here where it's not gonna be too high on your neck. It's not interfering with your anchor point or any part of your shot sequence, uh, but it is still a collar nonetheless, which is nice. Kind of helps keep your bino harness from riding up on your neck or anything coming in contact with that. Uh, so I really think they just absolutely nailed the collar height. Uh, secondly, the deep V on the quarter zip is really a great way to dump heat. It goes nice and low. My wife always jokes with me when I wear this because I'm rocking it down to like my belly button. But it's, uh, it's a nice and low deep V, so it really helps you vent and get a lot of air out of there and really help you... Uh, just continue to dump heat and stay cool while you're on a hunt. One of the other things that you're going to notice on this is that there are two pockets over on the side, which are nice big dump pockets, really in a cool spot. And not only are they incredibly versatile to put stuff in while you're in the tree, uh, but they are in a perfect spot to where your bino harness is not going to get in the way of those pockets. So, so often I feel like a lot of pieces of gear that we run, especially as whitetail hunters, whether we're, when we're in the tree, uh, the bino harness kind of takes up where those pockets are, it gets in the way and you're not able to use those pockets as intended. So these pockets are in a great spot to be able to utilize them, drop your stuff in and out and still use your bino harness as well. So great job by First Light there. So earlier we touched on the fabric that really makes this special. And this is a new fabric that First Light has come out with called the Kinetic Grid Fabric. And so it's a stretchable fabric that's also silent nice and quiet fabric, but these micro grids on here help prevent rip stops. So it's a really, really thin fabric, which is what allows it to breathe so well and dry so fast. So it's super thin, really allows it to have a great amount of stretch to it, but then also has the, the rip stop material in here, that little micro gridding that helps prevent, if it does get snagged on something, uh, prevent it from ripping. And you'll notice that, I mean, this is, is a piece that I've probably got uh, more hunts than I could count in. I mean, literally tons of hunts in here. I wore it all September. I took this on an elk hunt uh, with Billy, uh, hunted hard out of it, got it nice and sweaty on multiple days. I mean, it just, performed flawlessly. I really can't speak highly enough about how great of a piece it is, but it's also a really versatile piece. I mean, yes, this is designed for whitetail hunting. It works great in the early season, but I've also, 
I'm going to use this turkey hunting, right? I wore it out west. Works great out west. I love this pattern for turkeys. I wore this the other day on a hunt. It's a cool spring morning. Had a vest that I threw on top and had this underneath with those pants. It's perfect. You're good to go. So I really like the versatility of this, the breathability of it, and how fast drying it is. This top is really spectacular. You'll also notice that there are some extra deep thumb loopholes on here. And these thumb loops help kind of pull the garment down over your hand, really provide a, a little bit extra concealment for your hands. Um, or uh, it really helps with layering if you are going to throw something on top of it. And this whole garment is treated with DWR and also what's called high Q scent control. So both those items, the, the DWR kind of helps water bead off of it, uh, which is really fantastic if you get caught in a little bit of a, of a mist or something on an early spring morning or a, you know September morning. Um, and then obviously the high Q scent control, when you're sweating in this, when it's hot, you're gonna be stinky and that scent control element really helps prevent this from stinking up. So really just fantastic piece of gear uh, that is very versatile in that early season or in the spring, depending on when and where you're hunting. But you can take this out west or you can keep it in the whitetail woods where it's designed to be. You know, regardless of where you're running it, I think that you'll find the feature set of this to be invaluable for your system. All right, now let's talk about the pant. Now the pant has the same kinetic grid fabric that the top has. So you get all the same benefits that you get with the top. You get the stretchiness, you get the nice ripstop micro gridding in here, you get the high Q scent control, and you also get a ton of features with this pant. So these pants are sized to your waist and inseam, not just a you know large, extra large, but you can get them perfectly suited for you, uh, which is great because you'll notice that these have a very athletic cut. So along with the fabric material, it really allows for super articulated movement. I noticed that it's very easy to climb in these, especially when I'm climbing up in uh, some trees that have you know, a lot of ambitious space between steps. Uh, I really don't have an issue with these. Uh, one of the first features that you're gonna notice is this built-in belt. The belt here is spectacular. Uh, really a nice touch to have, but it also still has belt loops if you want to throw another belt on there on top of it. I don't know if you'd really want to put two belts on top of one, but uh, overall, you know, this little built-in belt is nice. Also, I love the cut of the pockets. Uh, this nice little kind of J here helps keep all your stuff in there, especially when you're sitting down, whether you're in a saddle or a tree stand. And also uh, has a built-in knife pocket here, which is really pretty cool. <clears throat> it's nice to slide a knife into that specific pocket and be able to utilize that without having to take up other space in there. Um, then next, moving down the pant kind of, you'll notice these cargo pockets are actually accessible from both the top and the side zipper, which is really great when you're sitting down in the tree and you need to get in here without something dumping out. It's really nice to be able to just zip this down and get into the pocket from that way. It's nice that these pockets have buttons on them. So when you are sitting down and you get into them from, from the top, um, you don't have to worry about anything falling out the side. And you'll also notice that there are two large vents that run on the back of your legs here on both sides, which really help dump heat and keep that airflow up. So I found that to be very helpful. I actually ran mine down for the majority of running this. Again, I, I hunted with these out west in Colorado, put a lot of miles on them and spent the entire early season here in the burbs hunting with these as well as now in the spring, I'm still coming back to hunting with these. I really love this outfit, like 60 degrees and warmer. Even if it's gonna warm up to 60, I can just put a vest on or kind of layer uh, on top of it. But I really love just the breathability of these uh, and the, the zippers being able to dump the heat really help with that. And then last but not least, you get some nice little wallet pockets on the back, which are fully zippered, which are a big deal because the last thing you wanna do is come back to your truck after a hunt and realize that your wallet's not there. It's gonna be hard to uh, go buy some after hunt sodas if you don't have your wallet. And these pants are also DWR treated as well. So if you do get caught in a little bit of water or you're walking through some tall grass or whatever, it's gonna help that water beat up and come off. Well, there you have it, the trace system from First Light. This is an incredibly versatile, warm weather system 
to use in that 65 degree and up. It's designed for whitetail hunting. It works great for whitetail hunting, especially with the way the pockets are laid out. But I've also found it to be incredibly versatile in the turkey woods and out west as well. So just a great top and bottom to throw into your system and, and see how you can find uses for it as well. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys soon.